Hey, Velocity Music Era here. I'm coming with a tutorial about how to mount an ISO image. Uh, the things you'll need today are a uTorrent or a BitTorrent client. I use uTorrent, obviously. Uh, a program called Power ISO. Uh, there's other ISO mount mounting and uh, unzipping, all that other stuff, programs out there, but I like this one. It's really simple. And you can get it. Uh, a free trial. I'll put the link in the description and I'll tell you how to download in this video. Uh, you'll need a browser. I use uh, Mozilla Firefox and then you'll need WinRAR. Um, so to start we're gonna go to Firefox and you'll go to somewhere like Pirate Bay and search for the game that you want. So uh, let's do Far Cry 3. Oh whoops I forgot space. Alright, so I'm going to go for the one that has the most seeds. So, most I see on this page is 1,000, but I think there's more. So I'm going to go, alright, look at that, 11,000. So I'm going to pick this because it's going to be the fastest. And what you're going to do is you'll see all this crazy stuff. You'll, I mean, if you've been here, you'll know what it is, but you just hit get this torrent, and it'll ask you to uh, use this if you're using uh, Firefox. If not, it'll just open up here. Uh, uTorrent, you hit OK. Uh, this doesn't matter. This is a saving location. Um, it's going to start going whenever it's done doing this little thing. So, what I like to do in uTorrent is right click and go down to bandwidth allocations and hit high. This allows the bandwidth, uh, the amount of bandwidth it uses to be even higher than it usually is. Um, this doesn't seem to be downloading but I know it's a massive file it's like nine gigabytes and I don't need that so um, I'm gonna exit It's just for uh, learning purposes and uh, that's that's that once you get it it will come in a little bookcase it looks like this stack what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click and even though and this is just the file but uh, I'll make one real quick and show you So what's going to happen is it's going to come in a little bookcase like this. And what you can do is you just you can either double click on it and hit the folder and hit extract to. Or you can just right click and hit extract here. And since it's already on my desktop, it's going to ask me all this stuff. I'm just going to hit cancel and delete it. But that's how you unraw or something. Really easy. Um, so once you get the ISO file, which is really what matters, um, once you have power ISO, which is really easy, all you got to do is go to Google. And search power ISO. Um, I'm just going to go here and you hit download now. If it brings you to the home page, just hit download and hit download now. Uh, run through the installation. Make sure you set up a drive. If you forget to do that or you pause the video and didn't hear that, you can always open it, go to tools, and hit virtual drive, and then set an amount up to 23 and you can easily unmount drives if you already have them right there so what you're going to do is once you have this ISO file to uh, get the contents inside of it you're going to right click hit mount to mount to an empty drive once you've done that go to computer right click hit open and then run the setup if there's not a setup there uh, you can either leave a comment and I can help you out or just go in a folder and look for something that has setup setup there's gonna be usually it's on the home page but don't worry about any other folders just double click setup and it'll bring you right to it I'm not gonna do this because I already have it but it's easy as that there it says I have the full version already so it's not gonna have to replace it with something else and to unmount it once you once you've run it it's stalled it and you use it a little bit uh, just come to computer and right click on the uh, drive that has something you can see it says uh, native instruments contact 503 that's the version um, and this one's empty as you can see so you just right click on that hit power ISO and I just hit unmount all drives because I never have anything in these and then your program will be ready to use at all times and you can just delete that and go on your way. Uh, this is Velocity Music Era saying goodbye. Make sure you uh, subscribe, like, and comment. 
and share the video. Uh, if you have any questions, post it below. I uh, hope you guys have a good day. See you.